Hey guys, this is Ada coming in to do a video. Um, today I'm coming in to share um, a supplement that I take and I've taken it faithfully and this is my story. Okay, um, back in 2019, right before the pandemic, I started experiencing um, heart palpitations and I had a lot going on guys, uh, to be honest with you. I had just came off a very stressful job uh, while I worked as a therapist and I worked in intensive. I worked with intensive girls and you know, I many times like to say that it wasn't the clients. A lot of times we can be in very toxic environments um, where there's a lot of office politics and such like that. So that such was the case for me because I love the work I do. But being an intensive therapist is not easy and it can be complicated by the environment. So I'll just leave that at that. But needless to say, you know, once I got home off that job, um, I end up, you know, just feeling really, really tired and just kind of burnt out. And actually, I, I was suffering from burnout. But anyway, I started having heart palpitations and, you know, going back and forth to the hospital and you know, of course, they didn't find anything wrong. Uh, I know, you know, that it was a lot of stress uh, because it was a stressful job. So, needless to say, I have always kind of taken magnesium in it on and off, but I didn't really take it that serious because I felt like I was getting enough because at one time I was doing a lot of plant-based and, you know, getting a lot of greens in. But needless to say, I know during that time I had kind of slacked up and I wasn't eating the best. But that started me on my journey to just really watching my levels of magnesium and doing a lot of research. And in my research, I found that magne uh, magnesium does many different things in the body. So I started, you know, supplementing with magnesium and I learned that, you know, for me, and I, I guess it would be that way for everybody else, I'm not sure, magnesium has to build up in your body so it takes it a while, but needless to say, the more it builds up in my body, the less um, anxiety and palpitations I was having. Um, so I got what I have here guys, I have three different types of magnesium that I want to show you today. And I'm going to talk about what magnesium does uh, for the body. Okay, and most of the people, a lot of people in the United States are deficient. Uh, research says about 50% of the people living in the United States are deficient in magnesium. And you know, we have, there's not a lot of rich soil nowadays. And if the vegetables aren't grown in rich soil, a lot of time the soil is already depleted of the minerals. And um, if you eat like green salad, a green salad every day, a huge green salad with like the uh, romaine lettuce and kale and different types of greens, you can get your magnesium that way. But I know I'm probably not going to eat a huge green salad every day, um, even though I'm mostly plant-based, but I know I'm probably not going to do that. So I just go ahead and take a supplement. But anyway... I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the three magnesiums that I have. And there are many forms of magnesium. There's magnesium oxide, there's magnesium malate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium, um, I wanna say orotate. There's so many different kinds, but I found for me the magnesium glycinate worked pretty good. The oxide is okay if you are, you know, you want your bowels to work because it I mean it will really get things moving but most people do not want you know to have their bowels you know um, loose for lack of a better word every day so so if you take so much of magnesium oxide it will eventually cause diarrhea guys but it's good initially if you want to be clean out okay there's also magnesium magnesium citrate which if you take enough of that it will kind of loosen your stools as well but the magnesium glycinate you really don't have to worry about loose stools however you can get your 
uh, daily intake of magnesium from, th from that. So these are the kind that I have that I've been using, guys. And I use this one quite a bit. And I experiment with different brands. Now this is Doctor's Best. And this is high absorption magnesium. And the dosage on this one is like two a day. But I always take like four a day. And two a day is like 200 milligrams. I would take like four of these a day. And sometimes I take five, six. It just depends on what I feel like my body needs. And this is one. This is by Pure. I recently ordered this one. And here's the glycinate. And that's the glycinate as well, the one I just showed you. And um, this supports cardiometabolic, neurocognitive, and your heart. So it supports your mind, your heart, and your muscle skeletal hips, your joints. So we really do need magnesium in our diets, guys. And this is one that my daughter had. And it have like five different types of magnesium in it because it's different ones. But most people would say that the glycinate is probably one of the better ones. And then there's theranate. And the theranate is helpful for the brain. There's so many different ones. Um, and one time I did have the theranate. And they said that one is better for cognitive function. But all the magnesiums are helpful. But now the one that I consistently take because I don't have to worry about having loose bowels or you know those side effects is the glycinate. So I'm going to read um, on the back of this particular bottle the different forms that's in this particular magnesium. And this is magnesium complex, guys. And I got the pure and the magnesium complex off Amazon. Let me show you these two. I got these off of Amazon. Okay. The Doctor's Best. They're on Amazon, but I actually picked this one up at Walmart. And it's one of the better brands. So, those are the ones that I take. And as I said, I want to read to you guys what's on the back of this particular bottle, okay? This one has 20% magnesium glycinate, which is the one I take all the time. It had magnesium citrate, magnesium malate, which is good for the heart, magnesium aspartate, uh, magnesium gluconate. Now, I know the malate is good for the heart. Now, the other forms, I'm not so sure. The glycinate is just good for overall. So, there's so many different brands. But, um, for the sake of today's video, you know, it probably would be better to focus on one. The glycinate is the most common one that people use. Um, because it doesn't have all the side effects of the oxide. Some people use oxide. But, you know, you know, you can't take much of it without having loose bowels. And if you've decided it's something you need to take daily because you're not getting enough magnesium, you know, you might want to consider glycinate. But since I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I can't tell you what to take. I'm just telling you my experience, my research, and, you know, what I'm doing. So, and none of these guys are sponsoring me, of course. I'm just, you know, giving you, uh, using them for the sake of information. Um, and this, the complex guys, with all the different forms in there, and this is by Tyrannix. Let me put that up there so you guys can see the brand. Okay. And it's magnesium complex. Um, and it supports muscle, nerve, bone, and heart health. And I was told by the cardiologist when I was having those panic attacks or whatever, the palpitations, you know, because um, I kept going because it was so scary, guys. But, you know, he eventually asked me, he said, you must take magnesium. And I told him, yeah. So if that tells you anything, magnesium is good for your heart. Okay. So, and it's also good for anxiety. It's also good for the nervous system, to calm the nervous system. It's good for muscle skeletal health. It's good for your cognitive. We just need magnesium, guys. And a lot of times we're not getting it in the soil. And as I read earlier, 50% of Americans are short, uh, there's a, you know, they are not getting enough magnesium in their diet. And it's wreaking havoc on their health. So I'm just telling you as an individual, not as a professional. I don't claim to be a professional. I'm just telling you my experience. And I've been taking it for years because I realized the importance. 
And I will say I started off taking the citrate, which is okay. I mean, you have to take a pretty good bit of citrate for you to get like loose bowels. You have to take huge, you know, a lot. But I sell it for the glycinate since my body tend to do well with that one. And as you see, I experiment with different brands. I really do, guys. So, with that being said, you know, that's my video on magnesium. If you have any questions, you can drop them down in the comment section. And I'll try to come back and, you know, answer any that pertains to me, you know, and my personal experience. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And if this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up.